for the last couple of months it was all about gemini gamma grok mistral and then data breaks and lot of other models coming up and it seemed that open ai's gpt4 was taking a backstage now interesting thing was that still gpt4 was the number one now open ai has released gpt4 turbo which has taken the number one seat once again and everyone is talking about it because it is not only one of the best but also has beaten its own predecessor records on various fronts in this video i am going to give you an introduction into this gpt4 plus we will also be showing how you can use it in the playground at openai plus we will also be using it for text completion in our python code locally so that we can also do inference with it so let's get started first and foremost openai released gpt4 turbo which is an updated version of its language model this version is available to paid chat gpt users including those with plus team enterprise and api subscriptions gpt4 turbo supports up to 64000 tokens for requests which is a significant increase from the 26k tokens supported by previous models and the context window of this model is 128k tokens training data is just quite fresh in terms of llms and it is up to date by the end of last year it has enhanced capabilities in coding logical reasoning writing and mathematical computation its function calling and json mode in vision capabilities is also improved a lot allowing for structured data extraction from images which is quite interesting responses are more direct less verbose and use more conversational languages and seems a bit more natural as i said the model has an updated knowledge cutoff as of december 2023 providing more current information than the previous gpt4 cut off in september 2021 so it is two year updated performance metric show gpt4 turbo are performing various previous versions for example if you go through the model card and the press release from open ai you would know that it has already achieved 87.6% on the human eval benchmark indicating an improvement in code synthesis and problem solving abilities so If you check out the Arena leaderboard, you will see that it it is again at number one, and it has eclipsed all the rest of the models. So it has really got some superior coding and reasoning capabilities. Now, this is quite an important news. So let's see how you can use it in the playground of platform. dot open ai. dot com. You would need a paid account for that, unfortunately, in order to play around with it. So once you have it, log in. Uh, to platform. dot openai. dot com. From there, you can either check it out with for text generation in the playground, or you can check out the vision guide. This is a playground. Here you can uh, chat with this, and then um, on the right hand side, you can just add your messages. On the very right, you can set some of the hyper parameters like how random um, the response of model should be. The higher, the more creative and random. The lower. it will be more deterministic and this is a maximum length um of the generated tokens from it and then we have top p top k probabilities where you can set the output sequence okay so let's get started let's uh, just give it couple of prompts to see how it performs so i'm asking it explain the concept of happiness to an entity that cannot feel emotions submit There you go. So this is GPT four for you, and if you check it out, it is it is saying to understand happiness without the capacity to feel emotions might seem challenging. But imagine happiness as a state similar to the optimal performance of a sophisticated system or machine. Consider a perfectly synchronized watch, every cog, every wheel, and spring within works in harmony. leading to watch keeping time accurately how good is that happiness in humans can be likened to the state of perfect sync but applied to their mental and physical state very nice and then it is giving an alternative metaphor like think of happiness as a smooth flow of data within a network okay another metaphor might be 
like into a tree in ideal growing condition the sunlight soil and water so you can see the pros the reasoning it's really good because uh, to be honest i have asked this question from a lot of models and all the models just give similar response quite good but similar but this one has really given different metaphors it shows that the training data is very different from what it was previously let me ask it another confusing trick question the gpt4 sometimes get confused and various other models get confused it's very simple i'm asking it i have two boyfriends i married one girlfriend how many boyfriends do i have now now the problem with this question is that model just gets confused about the relationship as whether it is a polyamory and how could be their two boyfriends one girlfriend so let's see what it does here you see so it says it looks like there have been misunderstanding in your question as it initially doesn't relate directly to understanding or feeling emotion instead you're asking a straightforward mathematical relationship based on your statement you can only have two boyfriends marrying a girlfriend doesn't directly change the number of boyfriends that is good based on the information you would still have two boyfriends so spot on the model has really given a very very good response okay now that's done let's see how can we use this uh, model this gpt4 turbo within our code for text completion and of course you can build any application on top of it so let me go to my vs code locally and you would need an open ai's api key i already have set it in my environment variable so this is my um, vs code as you can see i'm simply installing open ai so if you don't have it make sure that you install it like pip pip install open ai so install the latest version once you install it, then I already have set my OpenAI something like export OpenAI underscore API underscore key is equal to and in the double quotes the your API key. I already have done it. So after importing these two packages, I am setting my API key and I am getting it from environment. I am then instantiating the OpenAI's client and simply I am calling this GPT-4 Turbo with this prompt that i'm just this is a prompt template that you are a helpful assistant this is a system one i'm just setting the stage for the whole ai and then the user is asking this question assist and then i'm giving it a example that okay this is the answer and then the user is asking again from the model the assistant is the model here let's run it i'll just say i gpt or turbo press enter and wait for to come back i'll just make it a bit bigger there you go so it has given us the answer this is the answer and of course you can just do some python manipulation to get this answer out if you just want to print this content thing so how good is that and so now you know that now you can um, not only use it in your python code but also you can try it out in uh, playground and we can even ask the same question which we asked it asked it from the playground so that's it guys this was a quick uh, interesting review of this gpt4 turbo new model and in my humble opinion this is quite an important release because open ai's release of gpt4 turbo with vision marks a crucial effort to catch up as competitors like Anthropix, Cloud3, Cohere, Google and various that are really narrowing the gap here which is quite a good thing. So this strategic update targets enterprise users and developers keeping OpenAI's competitive edge while the industry anticipates its next major language model release. So really good I think uh, should be at par or maybe better than other models but let's see the war is on of LLMs. Let me know your thoughts, play around with it and let me know what do you think. I, I'm also going to create some videos around its vision capabilities where we will be using an external image from URL and also the local image. So stay tuned and I will be releasing that video shortly. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.